Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome healthy pancakes. They are very allergen friendly. They are gluten and soy free as well as free of SOS, that being sugar, oil, and salt. And they are also just a great addition to any sort of workout weight loss plan. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. Flaxseed meal, almond milk unsweetened, stevia, oats, vanilla extract, cinnamon, maple syrup, and any fruit you'd like. I have strawberries. Starting by making a flax egg. In a small bowl, I am adding a tablespoon of flaxseed meal and two tablespoons of water. Then I'm just going to mix that up and set it off to the side while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to take three-fourths a cup of these oats and put them in a blender to make oat flour. Of course, you can start off with oat flour. You can also use almond, coconut flour, whatever you like. If you're not gluten-free, go for wheat flour. I'm just going to add the flour to a bowl along with the desired amount of cinnamon. Then I'm going to take about a teaspoon of stevia. You can also use xylitol if your body can tolerate that. And I'm just going to quickly whisk together the dry ingredients with a fork. Then I'm adding one cup of my almond milk. Any plant milk works. Adding in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. and the flax egg. If it's not fully thickened, that's no problem. Even after you mix up the batter, it will continue to thicken. Okay, I've got a nonstick pan at medium high heat. I'm gonna be using this silicone heart mold from Wish. I'm gonna show you three different ways to make these pancakes and tell you which one is my favorite and I think most effective way. But first I'm gonna do the hearts. You just pour the batter into the mold. Flip the whole thing over when it's ready. A little bit got left behind. I ended up just taking the mold off and flipping them individually. Or you can make big pancake style, just set it down and sort of smoosh it out. This is because the flaxseed is letting the batter get thicker and thicker as time goes on. You just want to wait to flip it till it bubbles like any normal pancake. And then my favorite way is kind of making smaller pancakes. I think that this helps them get cooked the most evenly, get the best color on them. and it's kind of faster than making big ones. Just popping them all on the plate. Arrange them however you like. Adding strawberries. It also works with any other berry or bananas. Then I'm adding about two tablespoons of maple syrup, pure maple syrup, no sugar. And here is the finished product. Now this is a serving for one person, however you can multiply however many you want and meal preps very well. Recipe in description.